This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on my dudes and dudettes and welcome back to another exciting build for the good folks from Bendai, Japan. So why don't we get started with the 144 scale, real grade, Evangelion Unit 0 from the popular anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion. And without further ado, let's get to it. Welcome back my dudes and dudes to the most requested and possibly the most demanding grade that I've been asked to build on my YouTube channel and that is the Real Grade series. Now the key reason why I decided not to build any of the Real Grade kits is because these pieces are very small and I have zero patience when it comes to building very small kits. But after building the Optimus Prime from Hot Toys and then building the Arbalist from Full Metal Panic, I felt it was time to actually start to dive into the realm of the Real Grade series. Now I am no stranger when it comes to Evangelion, in fact I build my second Perfect rate was the even unit one perfect rate and I had a lot of fun building that kit but my biggest issue with that particular model was the inner frame and from what I've been reading a lot of from forums and people have been telling me on my Instagram channel that they have actually been upgrading the inner frame to the point where you can do crazy articulation and crazy posing and that's even made very apparent when you look at the first panels of the box art very organic very easy to pull off while on top of that giving you great great amount of detail on top of that there are actual places on the model kit where it creates less impact between two plastic pieces so that's very helpful when it comes to paint chipping and paint wearing so that helps reduce that while at the same time giving you an abundance of sticker decals and i think two or three weapon accessories which is like the progressor knife and the paladin rifle so, the time has finally come. I have literally put this off for almost two and a half years and I really need to get out of my comfort zone and try something new. So, let's take a look what's inside the box. As always, you are happily greeted with the instruction man, which I have to admit, this is probably by far the nicest representation I've seen for Eva Unit Zero in the last 10 years, but enough about that. As for the second to third page, gives you a complete backstory of this particular prototype Evangelion unit, which was created by Ginyu Akari, but the actual pilot is a young girl by the name of Rei Ayanami, while the lower part of the page gives you two options to have two modular options of shoulder blades that can be removed or actually opted for a complete different set of shoulder blades. But the actual inner frame itself, uh, it's new, it's very bold, and at the same time it's very alien compared to what I built with the perfect grade two years ago. So the attention to detail and the amount of re-engineering of the inner frame is really remarkable. In fact, it's very exciting and I actually look forward to building more of these kits if they keep this real going. But one thing that's definitely shocking about this inner frame design and this instruction manual, it's very reminiscent to an actual perfect grade. So I'm kind of curious, is this like a hybrid between like a master grade and a perfect grade? If anything, I really dig it. As for the last page, get you a complete layout on how to put these sticker decals onto this particular model kit, while the very, very bottom gives you a complete layout of doing some custom painting, which I absolutely love. So overall, early impressions from what I'm seeing inside, I'm actually very surprised and very excited. I did not expect Bendai to pack so much lore and so much information into such a very small kit. I can see why it's generally popular from the general masses. So what can we expect for the runners? Now these runners are actually quite unique and very well designed. You get nice color separation with these nice magenta burgundy reds and orange yellow pieces, small amount of white pieces here and there, but definitely by far the one thing that caught me off guard is the sticker decals. These guys are like premium looking sticker decals that I've ever, ever seen in any Bendai model kit. But as for the clear pieces for this model kit, you only get like the top part of the head, which is like, I guess a second eye, and then you get the classic gray fox red eye, which is gonna be great for the main optics. As for everything else, everything is nicely compact and very well designed and very easy to follow. Um, but definitely my biggest fear is the actual sheer amount of small pieces, and I hope this can help alleviate that anxiety. As for the following runners, you get a, a small assortment of yellow pieces for the front part of the shoe and definitely beautifully sculpted light gray pieces for the main cabs and the main thigh. Small assortment of white pieces followed by the classic red core for the main torso. I'm not gonna put an LED in that because it seems kind of wasted. It's pretty much there just for filler, you know, for people that are very much familiar with the Evangelion series. Followed by more inner frame pieces for the main forearms and legs, more white pieces, more yellow red pieces, small assortment of red pieces, but probably by far the most impressive thing I love about this small little kit 
is its pre-molded hands. You get everything to open, close, grabbing, trigger hands, you name it, it's there. It's very impressive. While at the same time giving you a small glimpse of the other weapon accessories, which is the progressive knife and the paladin rifle, and the big wire itself, which is gonna be the umbilical port that plugs into the backpack of the Evangelion. So far, very impressive, and I'm very excited to get started to build this kit, but by far the most challenging part is actually gonna be taking very small LED lights and funneling into those two key areas in the head. It's definitely going to be a big challenge, but by far, I'm very, very excited. As for the general look, I'm going to stay close to what you see from the actual box art while putting a heavy emphasis of this nice, glossy look for the whole entire mech.
All right, my dudes and dudettes, as this video is wrapping up, I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this model kit. So, first and foremost, I'm just going to get it out of the way. This kit was fun, fun, fun. I never imagined I would have so much fun building a real great. Just going to be real with you guys. Wow, that sounded odd. <laughs> I'm going to keep on going. Um, yeah, very refreshing. Very refreshing coming from building the perfect raid um, Evangelion a little bit over two years ago. The inner frame for that kit was a nightmare. The rubber suit was a pain to work with. I was just very relieved to get that kit done and, and out, out of the way. Coming back to building another Evangelion literally after two years was such a refreshing feeling. What they learn from that perfect raid, they implemented onto this real grade, and it's just, oh, it's incredible. The articulation you can pull off from a front, back, front, side to side is remarkable. My only concern was the actual crotch area or like the inner hip. Um, it's on this weird like swivel mechanic where you have to lock it up just right. But if you lock it too tight, you might be prone to breaking the plastic. So be, be mindful of that particular piece. I, I was a little hesitant with that. So be mindful for that. But man, I got to give Bandai credit where credit's due. I, I have to give him credit. Because there's no gimmick, there aren't any gimmicks. I mean, it's an Evangelion kit. It's it's not a um, a Zeta Gundam or a Unicorn Gundam with a transforming feature. You know, you get what you get from the original source material. But the fact that they were able to take something that is like a high quality master grade and then implement something that is around the um, the lines of a perfect grade and made it something super small with such precise small amount of detail, it's remarkable. And I can truly see why this is like generally a very popular kit. Now I have been told by everyone in the community that the inner frame itself for traditional real grade model kits is rel roughly the same, but it's very, very sensitive. So I'll keep that in mind when I build more down the road. But overall consensus, this kit's definitely worth the purchase. I know that there's actually two versions out there. I opted to get the, the standard version because the DX version was impossible to get. I had to literally wait for a whole entire month until I got a new one. So glad it came in and I'm glad I was able to actually build it finally. Is this a glimpse of what can possibly happen down the road of getting a proper revision of a perfect great Evangelion? It's possible. From what I've seen, it is very possible. But that's like comparing apple to oranges. Oranges being the Evangelion and Apple's being definitely highly sought after by the general public, which is Gundam. So there has to be a risk and reward to it. And I don't think Bendai will ever consider building another perfect great Evangelion. That is, if you, the fans, ask for it. So only time will tell. So is this kit really worth the purchase? Pick it up. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's definitely worth the purchase. Um, whether you get the standard or the deluxe version. You will not be disappointed. I was not disappointed. I was shocked. And it's opened my eyes to build even more real grades down the road. So with that being said, thank you dudes and dudettes for watching this video. I do apologize for the two week gap. I didn't expect Sazabi to take me out that hard like it did, but I am back. More content's coming weekly. And I will see you dudes and dudettes on the next video. Later.